This haunting picture, which has been submitted to the website ghoststudy.com, shows a woman preparing something in the kitchen while a creepy shadowy figure is appearing just behind her. It is believed that the shadow belongs to the original submitter's late husband. The submitter said that her husband, James, died on cancer eight years ago and that she is remarried now to her new husband of six years. Two months before the picture was taken, she said that one night in November at 11.30 p.m., she was cleaning their fish tank and felt like someone had just walked into the kitchen. At first, she thought it was her husband, Michael, but after she further inspected, she realized that it was James. Two months later, Michael's parents came to visit their home. She said they were cooking in the kitchen when she decided to take some pictures of their visit. When the pictures were developed, there was that creepy shadow behind Michael's mother. In this series of seemingly innocent photographs shows cheerful guests at a 21st birthday party completely oblivious to the fact that they are just a few feet away from the rusting oil drum containing a body of a devoted mother who mysteriously disappeared 23 years ago. The guests were marking the birthday of Michael Hegarty, whose former father-in-law Frederick William Boyle was found guilty of murdering his wife Edwina Ruth Boyle and hiding her remains in a drum for 23 years. Mrs. Boyle, then aged 30, went missing from the home she shared with her husband and two young daughters, Carissa and Sharon, on October 6, 1983. Her husband, Frederick William Boyle, told family and friends she had left him to start a new life with a truck driver named Ray. Almost a decade later, on February 19, 1993, Mrs. Boyle's loved ones were among guests gathered at the Boyle family home in Carum Downs in Melbourne to celebrate Michael Hegarty's big day. Hegarty's family and friends mingled in the backyard and under the carport, where the 44-gallon drum had sat since his former wife, Carissa, her sister Sharon, and Mr. Boyle moved into the home. Three snapshots show guests partying underneath the carport, which is festooned with colorful balloons and streamers. Hegarty identified his cousin and her boyfriend posing in one image and a friend and his uncle in another. In one photo, his auntie sits on the lap of her boyfriend as they smile at the camera. The green 44-gallon drum features prominently in each shot. The tragic story began when Mr. and Mrs. Boyle were happily married on February 26, 1972. But after 11 years of marriage, Mr. Boyle started to have an affair with a woman named Virginia Jassara. On October 6, 1983, Mr. Boyle strangled and shot his wife to the head using a 22 caliber pistol. He then put her body in a Hessian sack and stashed it in a 44-gallon drum for 23 years. Her body stayed in the drum, traveling with Mr. Boyle as he moved house time and time again. Within days of Mrs. Boyle's murder, Virginia Jassara and her four children were living in the Boyle home. The relationship lasted five years. Mr. Boyle's dark secret was uncovered by his son-in-law, Michael Hegarty, during a cleanup of the family home on October 16, 2006, when he opened the drum out of curiosity and found a large Hessian bag and women's clothing. But at first, he did not look inside the Hessian bag and thought that Mr. Boyle had loaded it and the other contents of the drum onto a trailer to be taken to the tip. Two weeks later, he made another grim discovery while cleaning the backyard. The Hessian bag was moved into a wheelie bin in the garage of the house. Mr. Hegarty opened it and discovered Mrs. Boyle's decomposed remains inside. 58-year-old Frederick William Boyle was charged for murdering his wife. In 2008, he was found guilty and was sentenced to 21 years in jail and will serve a non-parole period of 17 years. This photo taken by Gary Stemper of his wife swimming in the foreground. The other two divers pictured are Tina Watson and a rescue diver. On October 22, 2003, 26-year-old Christina May Tina Watson died while scuba diving on her honeymoon in Queensland, Australia. Tina and her husband, David Gabriel, Gabe Watson, 
chose Australia for their honeymoon to do some diving at the Great Barrier Reef. But their honeymoon turns tragic when Tina lost consciousness and sank to the bottom. According to Gabe, the strong currents pulled Tina under, and upon swimming to her after her distress signal, Tina knocked his mask loose. By the time he recovered, she was sinking too quickly. He surfaced for help and later claimed that an ear issue prevented him from diving deeper to retrieve her and that he hadn't been properly trained for a situation like that. However, Queensland police alleged Watson had turned off his wife's air supply and locked her in a bear hug until she lost consciousness, then turned the air back on and let her sink before surfacing himself. It is believed that before Tina died, Gabe Watson had asked her to increase her life insurance and make him the sole beneficiary. Gabe was tried in Australia and found guilty of murder, but his charge was reduced to manslaughter after he pleaded guilty. He served just 18 months jail in Queensland. This bizarre photo was submitted by Nelly on ghoststudy.com a website where you can submit some paranormal photos. In the picture, you can see a kid and an older man posing for a photo. Behind them, an elderly woman with a creepy black face, who's probably in her 50s, can be seen beside another elderly woman in the background. According to ghoststudy.com, it could be caused by a possible supernatural occurrence, that an unseen being had managed to either mark the woman in some way or they were playing with her appearance in a way that could only be detected on film. Another possible explanation is that maybe the woman has some type of crude makeshift mask, or maybe the photo just got manipulated in Photoshop. Either way, the photo itself is still very weird and creepy. On last January 2017, this screenshot photo from a surveillance camera video shows a five-year-old boy seemingly start to drown at a crowded swimming pool in Helsinki, while other swimmers carry on oblivious to his plight. But it shows the youngster struggling in the water for several minutes before losing consciousness. According to MTV Finland News, the mother of the boy had left him unattended in the swimming pool while she and a friend spent time in the sauna. Thankfully, the child was resuscitated after a woman finally noticed his unresponsive body floating on the surface and has not suffered any permanent harm. At the start of the footage, the boy can be seen desperately struggling to keep his head above water. Incredibly, nobody seems to notice his plight despite one man and his child standing only a few inches away from him. The boy attempts to doggy paddle towards the wall but fails to pull himself out of difficulty. Moment later, his body is seen floating in the water as other children and adults play nearby. And still, nobody appears to see him. For an agonizing minute, he continues to bob along in the water face down before a woman finally notices and pulls him out. 